Hey, how you doing? God bless you. My name is Ryan McNeely. I'm 20 years old, and I just want to share my testimony of how I gave my life to Jesus. Well, it all started off, uh, I grew up in a Christian household. I knew who God was, but I never took God serious. I never decided to read my word. I never decided to dwell in that personal relationship with the Lord. My thing was, I, I played baseball for 15 years. I wanted to get drafted. I traveled all over the country. I even traveled internationally. And I just wanted to get a multi million dollar contract to take care of my family, and specifically to take care of my mother, because for the first four years of my life, she was a single parent parent and my dad wasn't even there for my birth and so I was actually supposed to be aborted and I'm not even supposed to be here but praise to God but just over a span of 18 years I dealt with that thing of you know why my dad did this to me I, I dealt with situations through high school being bullied being harassed I went through depression I went through suicidal thoughts I went through lust with all kind of women fornication masturbation oral sex it was it was bad I just a whole bunch of stuff and when I graduated high school May 2020 I came back to my room and I began to think about everything that I had ever done in my life. I began to think about how I knew that God was real, but yet I was just living life as if I ever wanted to do anything. And in my heart, I felt like, you know what? I believe in God. That's it. But in that moment, something else, it was just like, no, there has to be something else. And I decided to call out to Jesus. When I decided to call out to Jesus, I said, Jesus, if you really love me and you have a great purpose and plan for my life, please tell me right now because I don't know what in the world I'm doing and I'm tired of life. And when I asked out and I cried out to him, he answered me in the step of a finger like, like this he said my son i love you and i have a wonderful plan and purpose for your life but you need to give your life to me and when he told me that i almost cried i felt peace i felt the peace of god touch me for the first time ever in my life and i i couldn't even explain it because i didn't know what in the world it was but in that moment, I gave my life to Jesus. I was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to give my life to you. I'm going to try it out because I've been trying everything else out and it's not working. So fast forward, a couple months later, I went to a Division One college playing baseball on a baseball scholarship and an academic scholarship. Yeah, I'm still fooling around, but God eventually arrested me. Two weeks in the uh, college, I began to read my Bible even more. I began to pray even more. I began to worship even more. And I began to spread the word on TikTok, on Instagram. And I began to just preach to others about Jesus. And I began to just increase in my love for God. God, increase in my love for Jesus. And a couple months later, the Lord led me to drop out of this Division One college to go be a full-time missionary, to share my testimony, and to free people from the same chains that I used to be in. Fast forward, I've been a full-time missionary for about a year now, and my life has been completely changed for the better. I'm now an author. I have several books. I'm a clothing brand uh, founder, CEO. Uh, my TikTok page is oh, at over about 93,000. Instagram is blowing up. I've just been preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and the Lord has completely renewed me and freed me from everything that I was going through. And I want to let you know that if you think that God can do nothing with you, I'm telling you, I felt the same exact way. But all you have to do is give your life to Jesus and he will transform you and take you in places where you've never been before. In Jesus name, God bless you. Have a great one.